Psalms 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That does not mean what your heart's already been desiring. God's going to automatically give it to you. Like, I've, I've been wanting that car. I've been wanting that house. I've been wanting that material thing. So if I'm just happy being in the presence of God. He's automatically going to give that to me. No, it means something a whole lot bigger than that. It means that when you are just so enthralled and just fulfilled in the presence of God, he's going to give you a new desire, a new yearning, something to reach for a greater destiny, a greater purpose, a greater future. It's been 15 years to the day when I gave my heart to Jesus Christ, and i recollecting, recalling all my time from then until now, how I started my journey, just it was all about the material blessings. And then eventually it became the spiritual blessings. And then it became just being glad to be in the presence of God, that that is the ultimate blessing. And once I got to that point, I just have a peace and an understanding and just a complete fulfillment that originally I never even thought would even be conceivable. And here I am. And right now, the more that just comes in me, the more stuff has just got to flow out and go into the world. So I am just so thankful. I, I walk I walk in the joy of the Lord all the time. You know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And through Christ, I can do all things for, the, for him who strengthens me. So you put those two together, man, you are just, I'm walking in that strength, I'm walking in that power, and I'm walking in that love. And I'm just so happy to be able to actually pass on the secrets of this wonderful, wonderful destiny that we're all destined to be on. It's just, it's just amazing. I love it so, so much in this world. And there's so many things in this world that I know that are wrong. And I see people who are so desperate and they're crying out, looking for that peace. They're looking for these material things that are going to help them. But really the source of that peace is the very presence of God himself. That's the source of everything. And it's a constantly flowing river. It's not a pond. It's not something that's still, it's raging. It is just constantly moving. And it is life-giving. So my prayer for all of you today is I pray for your everyone's hearts to be open, to learn and understand and walk on that journey to the destination of the acknowledgement and the understanding and the fulfillment of his presence. And there is the peace that you yearn for. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.